Los Cabos welcomes for the second consecutive year Iron Man. With contestants vying for the 50 qualifying spots available for the Iron Man World Championship in Hawaii, as well as the self satisfaction that comes from completing one of the world's starnest tests. This year's course was similar to last year's, with the swim taking place off the Palmilla Beach and the run finishing in front of City Hall in San Jose del Cabo. The category with the largest participants was between 40 to 44 years old with 193 athletes. Two records with the participation of over 70 years old and the meritorious and enthusiastic participation with Ruben Largue with a prosthetic half leg visiting from Cancun, Mexico. Cabo San Lucas and San Jose del Cabo all offer views of rugged cliffs, desert views, and mountains that are bound together by a wash of colors that are unmistakably Cabos. A truly unique Ironman experience like no other. The overall winner was Daniel Fontana from Italy and born in Argentina who finished with 8 hours and 26 minutes. Sí, es una emoción muy grande. Es una es la primera vez que gano, es un objetivo que estaba buscando hace muchos años y para mí es es muy simbólico en el sentido que que mi mi carrera deportiva ahora se cierra un círculo. The first place in the women's division was Lindsay Corbin from Oregon, USA, with 9 hours and 16 minutes. It was a very tough day, a beautiful course, and the support from the community was amazing. Everyone was so enthusiastic and so helpful. So, oh, it feels amazing. You know, it's not every day you get to win an Ironman, so I'm very grateful. This was my fourth time I've won one. Second and third place went to Stephen Bailey from the UK and Domenico Tassuelo from Italy. Second and third place in the women's division was Lisa Ribes from the USA and Carrie Glaster from Australia. 